Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this uh, one another problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the force in members CD, CJ, KJ and DJ of the truss which serves to support the deck of a bridge. And it is said that uh, state if these members are in tension or compression. So we will solve this particular problem by using the method of sections. So what we will do is that we will pass a cutting plane through these uh, members so that uh, we will consider the uh, section uh, and then we will analyze that section for equilibrium and we will find the forces in these members which are unknown, right? So if I pass a cutting section, if we consider a cutting plane through these members, this is CD, CJ and KJ. So this uh, imaginary cutting plane will divide this truss into two parts, right? So we will have this left hand side of this cutting plane and we will have this right hand side of this cutting plane. So we will consider either left hand side or right hand side for our analysis, right? But before going to pass a cutting plane, what we need to do is that we need to determine the reactions at point A and G, right? If we are considering this left hand side, so then we need to find the reactions at this uh, support at point A. Right? There is no need to find the reactions at point G if we are considering the left hand side of this cutting plane. So I will find the reactions at this point A since I will consider this left hand side for my analysis to solve this problem. Right? So since at this point A we have the uh, pin support so we will, we will have two reactions. We will have reactions in the upward direction. So let's say this is a y reaction and then we will have a x reaction right so if we consider this whole truss and if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so as we can see that all the external forces are acting in the y direction right if if this is our positive x and y direction right at this point g since we have the roller support so we will have one reaction which will be acting vertically upward and let's say this is gy so since all the external forces are acting in the y direction so this means that the ax reaction will be equal to zero right so this means that at point a we have no horizontal reaction similarly if we apply the summation of the moment about point g equals to zero since the whole truss is in equilibrium so as we can see that uh, this ay is producing the clockwise moment about that point G. So I will write minus AY and the perpendicular distance of this AY from that point G is the summation of the lengths of all these members from A to G. Right. So as we can see that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 9, 6 are 54. So the perpendicular distance of this AY from that point G is 54 feet. So I will multiply this with 54. Similarly, this 400 pound force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point G. So I will write plus and this is 4000 and the perpendicular distance of this 4000 uh, pound force from that point G is uh, 9 times 5, right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 9 fives are 45, right? So this is 45 feet. Similarly, this 800 pound force is again producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write plus 8000 and the perpendicular distance of this 8000 pound force from that point G is 9 feet less than the perpendicular distance of this 4000 pound force, right? So this means that it is 36 feet, right? 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. So this is 9 fours are 36. And similarly, this 5000 pound force is again producing the counterclockwise moment about that point G. So I will write plus 5000 and the perpendicular distance of this 5000 force from that point G is 9 feet. So I will multiply this with 9 and this is equal to 0. So from this equation, Ay comes out to be 9500 pounds. So I will write that this Ay equals to 9500 pound force right so now we have this a y reaction so now if we pass a cutting plane like this which will cut this c d this c j and this k j so then we will consider this left hand side for our analysis right so if we 
we are considering this left hand side so then we will have this as our free body diagram right we are considering this side of the cutting plane right so at this point a we have that a y reaction which is acting vertically upward so we will draw it like this this is that a y which is 9500 pound force and let's assume that the c d member force is the tension force so which will be acting away from this joint c so let's say this is that uh, f c d force and let's say that uh, this c j member force is also acting away from this joint c right so we are assuming that all the unknown forces are the tension forces right so this is that c j and at this point k we will have that f k j if i extend the line of action of this force and if i extend the line of action of this force so they will intersect at point j as we can see here right so now if if i apply we are required to find these fcd fcj and fkj so if we apply the summation of moment about point j equals to 0 so as we can see that fcj and fkj they are the line of action of both of these forces are passing through this point j so they will not produce the moment about this point j so both of these unknown forces will not come into our equation so we will be able to find this fcd using this condition right so now as we can see that this fcd is producing the clockwise moment about that point j so i will write minus fcd and the perpendicular distance of this fcd from that point j is the length of this k ck member right so the length of this ck member is given which is 12 feet so i will multiply this with 12 similarly this 800 pound force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point j so i will write plus 8000 and the perpendicular distance of this 8000 force from that point j is the length of that kj member and the length of that kj member is 9 feet so i will multiply this with 9 similarly this 4000 pound force is also producing the counterclockwise moment so i will write plus this is 4000 and the perpendicular distance of this 4000 pound force from that point j is 9 plus 9 feet which is 18 and similarly this 9500 pound force is producing the clockwise moment about that point j so i will write minus this is 9500 and the perpendicular distance of this 9500 pound force from that point j is 3 times 9 so which is 27 and this will be equal to 0. So FCD member force is minus 9375. So from this equation we get FCD equals to 9375 minus 9375 pounds right so the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction is not accurate for this fcd force so this means that this fcd is acting towards this joint c so the negative sign means that the fcd magnitude is 9375 pounds and the negative sign indicates that it is the compressive force now to find this fkj if i apply the summation of moment about point c equals to zero so as we can see that this fcj and this fcd is passing through this point c so they will not produce the moment about this point c so they will not come into our equation and we will be able to find this fkj member force so as we can see that this fkj is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point c so i will write plus fkj and the perpendicular distance of this fkj from that point c is again the length of this ck member which is 12 feet so we will multiply this with 12 similarly this 8000 pound force is also passing through this point c so it will not produce the moment about this point c this 4000 pound force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point c so i will write plus 4000 and the perpendicular distance of this 4000 pound force from that point c is this much this length and the length of this bc is uh, 9 feet which is given so i will multiply this with 9 similarly this 9500 pound force is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus 9500 and the perpendicular distance of this 9500 pound force the moment arm of this uh, reaction at point a is 9 plus 9 which is 18 so i will multiply this with 18 and this will be equal to 
zero. So this equation will give us F K J member force, the K J member force, right? So this will be minus four thousand into nine plus ninety five hundred into eighteen. On the other side of equation, the signs will become opposite, right? So I am using the opposite signs in this while using this calculator, right? I am doing it directly, right? So we will divide it by twelve. So this gives us F K J equals to eleven thousand two hundred and fifty plus eleven thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. This is F K J, and since we have this plus sign, so this means that this is the tension force. The assumed direction is accurate, which is acting away from this uh, giant K. So if it is acting away from this giant K, so then it will be that tension force, right? Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 then we will be able to find this fcj so as we can see that this fcj uh, member force is is making some angle theta here right so it is making some angle theta here so if we resolve this fcj into its component so it will have two components it will have one component will be acting in this direction this one will be the cos component and this one will be the sine component right so we are applying the summation of forces along x so we will consider this cos component this is f c j cos of theta so we have to find this theta so to find this theta we can use this triangle this c d j triangle so from this we can say if we apply tan theta so tan theta will be equal to this perpendicular which is 12 feet and the base which is 9 feet so this will give us theta if we apply 10 inverse so 10 inverse 12 divided by 9 so this gives us 53.13 degrees 53.13 degrees so fcj cos of theta so let me apply cos of theta so cos of answer so this is 3 divided by 5. So I will multiply this with 3 divided by 5. Similarly, this FCD is acting in the positive x direction. This is our positive x direction. So I will write plus FCD. And FKJ is also acting in the positive x direction. So I will write plus. And the FCD magnitude is known, which is 9375. So I will write this as 9375 pounds. And FKJ magnitude is also known, which is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write 11250. And since we are using the assumed direction of FCD, so for the assumed direction, the FCD magnitude is negative. So we have to use the negative value of that FCD. So this is equal to 0. So this is FCJ cos of theta component. Then FCD, FCD magnitude for the assumed direction is minus 9375. And this is FKJ and this is equal to 0. So we can find this FCJ. So this will be equal to 9375 minus 11250. And we will divide it by 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5. So this gives us minus 3125, right? So minus 3125 pounds. This is FCJ and again the negative sign indicates that the assumed direction of FCJ is not accurate. So this means that this the magnitude is 3125 pounds and the negative sign indicates that it is compressive. So this means that this FCJ is acting towards that joint C. So we have determined the FCD, FCJ and FKJ and further we are required to find the force in DJ member, right? So if I consider the joint D for our analysis. So if I draw the free body diagram for joint D, right? So at joint D we have that FCD force which is compressive. So this means that the FCD will be acting towards this joint D, right? And DE force is let's say acting towards this joint D as well. Let's say this is that FCD, this is that FDE and FDJ force, right? So let's say that FDJ force is acting away from this joint D right f d j so out of these three we only know this fcd force right so if we 
look into this joint D and if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 for this free body diagram. So, as we can see that there is no force along the line of action of this uh, dj member of uh, uh, along this fdj and there is no component along this fdj. So, this means that the fdj member a force is equal to 0 or we can say that the dj member is a zero force member right. So, we can from this analysis we can say that fdj equals to 0 right. So, we were required to find this as well. So, we have determined that fcd which is 9375 this FKJ is 11,250 pounds, this FCJ is 3,125 pounds and that FTJ force is equal to 0 or we can say that that DJ member is a zero force member. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope uh, you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem. Kindly like my videos if you people think that uh, they are uh, helping in your learning. Also subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions.